Hi guys, welcome. Part two of the tier list. Not sure if I'm gonna make this into a separate video or not. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, depending how long the first part is. Let's move it along here and let's do last resort. I've had these shoes and uh, I did a whole review on them. So if you would like in-depth analysis, then you'll be able to find them there. But basically, as I understand it, as the name kind of implies, these are created because the skate shoes are in sort of a weird place right now where it feels like a lot of the skater owned stuff is like, they don't really know what's cool anymore. And I'm not really entirely sure why or what I perceive to be cool. I don't really agree with the way that a lot of these companies are taking their directions. Like we'll look at Fallen later and there's some stuff to check out there. Wow, my hair. I just woke up, so forgive whatever. I mean, there's nothing I can do. It's just going to be insane. Um, anyway, so I think this was sort of like a, an attempt at a skater owned company. It's Pontus's company, right? Making shoes that aren't super old looking. And I think this is pretty much and also like, maybe you want a pair of shoes that isn't just bombarded with logos. Uh, maybe that's something that you would want also. And Last Resort does that too. I mean, they're incredibly simple looking shoes, but I think a lot of their design elements are very consciously chosen. Like they are, as a skateboarder, um, all the things that I had kind of been complaining about with, with a lot of the modern shoes, like them just being way too much. I like to have simple shoes uh, and I think these do them really well. They kind of, to me, remind me of of these designer type of shoes where they're like melted in in areas and it kind of gives the shoe like a funky, a funky look. If you can see that, like this sort of how it's not just straight stitched, like it's very simple, but and the very fat laces they kind of they remind me of like these very sensible like design choices that kind of give a shoe a lot of character while also keeping the shoe simple. So not something I think a lot of other companies are doing. Uh, I think Last Resort keeps it simple in all the right ways. Uh, the, I think the logo is really cool and they just put the they put the logo on there just enough. Um, the, it's got a great like sole. I think it's a very cool design. It's sort of retro-y like kind of reminds me of 90s stuff a little bit. Uh, and I think that's also something Vans is resorting back to a little bit, resorting, haha. But yeah, I think it, the logo's great. Um, I think they're really great looking shoes. As, as I went over in my review of them as well, the quality of the shoe is very nice. The materials of the shoe are very, very nice. Their biggest weakness is their impact support, but I've got a couple comments on my video, like I had hypothesized in the video, maybe with some different inserts, they could be significantly better. Um, even though they're, they are a good shoe, I think maybe with, with some more support, they could be better. And a couple of people have told me in the comments, they actually got their inserts out and they swapped them out with something else. And the shoe like was taken to, taken as, as far as you could possibly get it. So I think there's really nice colorways. I mean, these are excellent looking shoes. These look, in my opinion, they look like designer shoes. Like they are really, really well designed. Um, and maybe you don't see that. Maybe you think they just look really simple and basic. But to me, I see a lot of very sensible design choices kind of coming together and creating a really, really good looking shoe. For me, I'm gonna put uh, Last Resorts in the A tier. The only thing, you know, it's really hard because something like Converse versus Last Resort, I think as an actual skate shoe, the cons are, are it's they're kind of better because they will probably last you a bit longer and and the they're, some of them are cheaper. Uh, you have more options with Converse, but you also have to weigh the fact that the last resorts like that's not a level playing field these guys are doing pontus is is doing the absolute best with with what i assume the resources he has are which i can't imagine are the same resources that converse has i, I can't really decide if i should give additional like leverage or points because 
because it's an unfair ask to sort of pit the two against each other. But the fact that I feel like it's even remotely competitive in the first place, I think is pretty a pretty strong indicator that Last Resort is doing a pretty great job. So I'm just gonna keep them up there for now because I think if Last Resort had the dis- had the technology that Cons had, this wouldn't even be sort of a question, but it is. But I still think that Converse does have some really great designs. I'm just gonna put Last Resort in A tier for now. We'll we'll see what we'll see what happens. Let's go to Fallen now. Some some of you might remember what I said about tie dye shirts in that one video that will not be named that is no longer available. So. Fallen, I think, is kind of in the position. They got revamped, right? They went under. Somebody bought them out. They're back. And now we have, like, the skeletal remains attempting to be revitalized um, by what I would assume to be some corporate interest, or maybe not. Maybe some somebody else bought them. But we have all these old designs that, like, were kind of cool when they came out and and a lot of old heads i'm not sure if i qualify as an old head but i was around certainly when fallen was at the peak of their powers and things have really changed since these were shoes that people wanted to buy like i've said for a lot of the other shoes they just don't match up anymore like i think you would be hard pressed to make the case that these shoes look worse than, I don't know, these. Like which one kind of looks more modern? And I know that the cons fast breaks are based off of a basketball shoe from like the 80s or the 90s or something, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, which one looks more modern? These to me look when I look at Fallen's now, they remind me more of professional bike shoes, what I would imagine a, a BMX shoe to look like, uh, more than a, a skate shoe. And we, we have Native American prints. Do you guys remember when those were popular? That was ages and ages ago. Like, I would hope that they just had a, a massive storage container of these sitting around somewhere, and they didn't actually put these back into production because don't we know that i mean morally it's kind of questionable to be doing native american patterns and also um aesthetically it's i don't know i don't i don't really care for it personally i could definitely see somebody who smokes a lot of weed wearing these though that would be like a guy at 7-eleven who just was milking his bong comes in to buy a an Arizona iced tea, and he's wearing these without any socks. I could definitely see that. They got a size 12 left. That's my size. Maybe I should just pick them up. You got these also. Like, I feel like for so long, everybody was kind of just making really plain skateboard shoes, and it worked because there wasn't much competition. Now we're in the position of, like, do we want to support, like, the core brands, or do we want to buy shoes that look good and skate good? And that's unfortunately, or look good and skate well. That's unfortunately the position that I think a lot of us find ourselves in because these just don't look, these don't look good to me. They just look sort of non-specific generic shoes. Um, And it's unfortunate. Like, it's not like I want to be saying that I think Fallen shoes are ugly. Like I would much prefer it where things reversed and Fallen was making the best shoes and Cons and Nike were all making a bunch of shit. That would be much better, but that's most definitely not the situation anymore. Maybe this is just what's going to happen is that the core shoes, like it's not a good sign if half your website is on sale, over half. Like the only reason I think that you would get these is for nostalgia factor. Like these are actually insane shoes. I think, I think these are totally crazy ass shoes. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put Fallen above Stray. Stray only has like eight shoes or something. Fallen at least has the selection. Now I'm gonna tell you guys up front. I don't think I'm gonna be able to be objective about action shoes because uh, I saw Mickey Papa wearing these red ones, and 
it really like completely changed everything for me. I don't think I could hope to be objective and clear minded about the aesthetics of this shoe, knowing what they look like on Mickey Papa's foot. I apologize, but I think they've been tarnished probably permanently for me. They look like DC and S had a baby or something. Like there's really not much to me that distinguished. They're all sort of the same category of like ledge skater type of drip. I hate these. Are these, these aren't skate shoes, are they? Oh, well this guy's skating in them. I hate them. I don't like these at all. I don't like shoes that sort of borrow from like running shoe type of, what the fuck is this thing? It's got like this mesh and then this triangular shark fin over the top of it. Like, I don't like these details. Like I know that if for some reason my grip tape grazed against this plastic shark fin, uh, that it would not, ha the result wouldn't be good. And this like techy rubbery top thing as well. Like in my experience, these are solutions to problems that don't need fixing. Like it's kind of similar how I feel about shoe design is, is similar to how I feel about like skateboard design, which is that we've, what well, we've, we've experimented over the years with things that are not like seven ply maple, boards or whatever wood you would like to say i think most most skateboards are made of maple or whatever uh, but seven ply skateboards like we have tried to experiment with them uh, the industry has and what happens nobody it doesn't stick uber light not really a success p2 boards not really a success i had a toy machine board once with carbon a carbon fiber layer they never catch on because I don't know if you, if you already sort of have a product that's not perfect because skateboards break. So I think you'd be hard pressed to say that they're perfect. Uh, no pun intended on the press there, but it's working extremely well. I mean, there's a good flex. Uh, there's just something really magic about uh, how a skateboard deck works and how it feels. And I, I feel somewhat similarly about skate shoes where you know, we could try to do these weird plastic, plasticky covers over the part where you flick. And then this, whatever this other finish thing is, it doesn't really look like suede. It looks like something else. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not an expert, guys. I'm just a dude talking out of my ass. I want to make that totally clear and just giving my opinion. Uh, but yeah, and I, I don't like, I don't like incorporating running shoe elements like the the rubber coming up at the front is clearly like that's a running shoe detail and i just don't i don't care for that really they're not my thing i mean if you look at these and you love them then that's great but i don't i don't like where they're drawing inspiration from particularly that's how i feel about those like these look more like gym shoes to me than than skate shoes and I'm here to look at skate shoes. So when I see something that doesn't look like a skate shoe, I don't really like it. Again, every shoe's got to have, every company's got to have their slip on. Uh, these are actually like pretty understated. I think these are a solid design, a very decent looking shoe for $65. Pretty much look like Americas, but they're, they're fine looking shoes to me. <sighs> Sorry, Stevie, they're not my faves. I'm gonna put them, I, I think they are sort of, they're just so nondescript and like, I don't know if they're worse than Stray or not, but whatever, let's move it along. Let's go to Nike, Nike SB skate shoes. That's what it recommended me. I have a feeling that's a tad redundant. I guess while we're here, we could talk about dunks, right? Because what happens if you Google Nike SB, you get dunks all over the damn place. I think it's sort of gotten to uh, an absurd point, and that's how I felt about it for a little bit, that like, people think these are really sick, that's fine. I mean, uh, people like what they like. I, I think these are insane. Uh, I think that it's gotten to a point where people are just so obsessed with whatever the next dunk silhouette, or not silhouette, whatever the next dunk design is going to look like, that they will accept absolutely psycho looking shoes and because it's a dunk they won't really 
think about would I ever wear these? Like, do these actually look like shoes that you could <laughs> possibly integrate into any sensible outfit? Um, or is this just a collector's item? I don't like really to think about shoes as a collector's item. It's not, it's not my thing. I like looking at shoes and thinking, would I wear these? How would I wear them? And I would not wear these. I mean, they're just absolutely mental. As a collector's item, I think, you know, they make a lot more sense. Um, but I think Nike has some kind of, they put everybody in a weird position, right? Where these are, these are skate shoes um, for skateboarding, yet they do really limited releases of them. And the people that actually want to skate the skateboarding shoes, you know, they can't really do that. And it's like, we, we, we have a choice, right? Can we, we can blame the resellers, uh, the people that swoop these up and, and sell them. We can bl blame collectors for wanting to collect shoes, which, I mean, they're totally within their rights to do. People can do what they want with products, but I think ultimately Nike kind of, I think is to blame for the fact that we can't skate dunks because they've progressively made it more and more difficult to get your hands on them. You, if you're a skate shop and you get some dunks, you can't just release them anymore. Um, you do raffles uh, and so it's like this whole not that I it doesn't really bother me because I don't like skating dunks I actually don't like how they skate these are pretty sick it's just weird to me that like I've always found it a little strange that it's the same shoe and just releasing new color ways of it people just keep losing their mind but I sort of I guess it's sort of like a cultural phenomenon at this point from a skater's perspective I don't appreciate the fact that if I wanted to try the skate shoe, I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't like that really. Um, unless I wanted to fork out a ton of money or unless I wanted to like call in a favor at a skate shop or something, which is never something that like I would feel comfortable doing. I just think it's weird. That's kind of how I feel about the dunks. Like I don't really like it. I don't think it's, uh, I guess it's good for skate shops in another sense because they have like however many sizes they get, maybe they get 15 sizes, maybe they get 12, five, 10 sizes. I guess it depends. Um, it, those are guaranteed shoes sold, but it's also bringing around like a bunch of people that don't know anything about skateboarding and are extremely annoying to deal with for those skate shops. It's always a mixed bag. I mean, Nike, I think they know exactly what they're doing with these. And I guess it's good for their brand, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a net positive for skateboarding is what I'm saying. Like, look how insane these are. So whatever, maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I don't get it and that's fine. Anyway, let's move it along. Uh, Nike also, I mean, they made the Janowski, which I think is probably the most successful skate shoe of all time. Um, if you're not looking at it and through the same lens that you'd look at dunks, which is Nikes are actually available. You can buy them if you want to. Uh, you don't have to stand in a line or get win the lottery to get a fucking pair of them. You can just get them and skate them. I remember when I saw them for the first time in a magazine, I thought they were super duper cool. I really liked the design of them. And some of those design elements have been stripped away over the years now, kind of if you look at them, they're a little more streamlined, like the laces are not the same. I actually prefer the original Janowski. Yeah, these ones where they had like the the stitching that was a different color and they had the uh, leather laces. I thought these were really nice. And when I finally got a pair, I was like amazed at how good uh, skate shoes they were. Like, I think it makes sense that Shane O'Neill was absolutely obsessed with Janowskis. Um, so let's go to the, uh, I mean, everybody had these for like eight years, maybe 10 years. These were just like the undisputed champions. Of, of skateboarding, I would say. And then I feel the way that, I mean, I have absolutely no knowledge on this. I could be totally wrong, but I felt like Nike was saying, okay, Shane, we need a pro shoe. You're like one of our biggest skaters. We want to make a pro shoe for you. And Shane was like, well, there's nothing wrong with the Janowski. So I don't really know what, why, what, what kind of shoe I would want. And they were like, okay, well, we'll just make you the Janowski again, but we'll, it'll be a little different. And now we have the Shane, which to me looks extremely similar to the Janowski from, from a, from performance perspective, I've never skated the Shanes, but I would imagine that they skate almost 
exactly the same as the Janowski because they look really similar to the Janowski. I mean, you have the massive toe cap and you have like the small area up here with the laces, which, you know, you're not gonna rip your laces and stuff. I, I just wanted to share like <laughs> my hypothesis on how the Shanes came to be because they're, they're another like kind of remarkably boring looking shoe. I kind of have the same feeling about them as I do like the Louis. It's just a very safe skate shoe to make. I don't know. You probably have a guaranteed certain amount of people that are going to want to buy these, but they're most definitely not taking any risks with these. I think they're a decent looking shoe, but there's nothing really particularly interesting about them, I don't think. You can have some like golf, golf shoe style perforation on the sides there. But yeah, uh, let's go with the Blazers next. These are kind of what I would deem at this point to be like more or less the default skate shoe kind of i mean low or high take your pick and in the past i've said it when skate 4 comes out it wouldn't surprise me if default the guy was wearing blazers and they're a good looking shoe i think that um the design of them is is really nice the high ones i like the design of the lows too i think they're a really solid looking shoe um it's pretty hard to object to a blazer they most certainly don't do anything wrong. I mean, that's about it. I don't really like them because I don't like the big fat logo on the side, uh, if you haven't picked up on that by now. Uh, but yeah, they're all right. They're a fine looking shoe. I certainly, my favorite skaters, Cyrus and Max, when they wear them, I think they look cool. Um, but they could wear uh, trash bags for shoes. I would think that they were sick. Is this, this isn't a skate shoe? What the fuck is this thing? 60 bucks this this thing belongs at ross i think i'm done talking about nike i don't really give a shit about nike anymore like i've just come to accept their place in skateboarding and i don't really feel strongly about them either way it's uh, at this point like you know what i actually really like uh my favorite nike shoe is probably the dunk high i think these are super 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 sick I really like these shoes a lot. I should have got them when I had the chance. But yeah, I think Dunk Highs are like my favorite Nike shoe. And it sort of surprises me that the lows are, are more sought after. I mean, I guess it doesn't surprise me, but maybe it's just a reaction to the popularity of the lows that I kind of just don't want anything to do with them at this point. And I, I think the highs are sort of a, a cool alternative. I'm going to put them right here middle of the pack. I think that's where they belong. I think some of the designs that Adidas had were a lot more interesting and, and risky and inspired than the designs that Nike has, which I, Nike just doesn't really make that many shoes, I, I feel like, and they have like four good shoes and the rest of them are pretty ugly. So I'm not even going to talk about the Nijas. Um, cause I don't think the Nijas are actually really ugly shoes. They're just Nijas shoes, which I can't possibly view them objectively. Okay, so let's look at the New Balance Numerics back in corporate heaven. Same thing with the Adidas. Like, what is, they look, they all, a lot of them really look similar. Is this the Tiago shoe? I think these are pretty cool. Yeah, these are the Tiagos. I like these. I think these are a good looking shoe. The logo being in the same place on almost every single shoe just gets so boring to me. Um, but I do like the Tiagos. I appreciate at least they're doing something different down with the side here. And I like all the little details they add uh, with the colors. I think the design of these is really solid. It's a good looking shoe. It looks modern. Um, I definitely think that there's a, a, a really strong audience for these that would like this shoe. And I don't think only skaters would appreciate this shoe. I think that's the, the sign that you have a a really good design is when you can take it outside of just a skateboarder's perspective and like think, oh, would your average like person like these? And I think they would like the Tiagos. Um, I think it's a very like good looking shoe. These look identical to all the other fucking slip-ons that exist. But then again, I don't really know how you change a slip-on, so everybody just makes a slip-on. Meh, nothing to say, nothing to say. They're fine, I like these, these are cool, they changed it up. There are bricks on the bottom. That's pretty sick. Men's shoes are ready for anything the skate park might bring. That's not That's not what you want to write. Who's writing these? You don't say anything the skate park might bring. Or is this like a liability thing that they're writing? Like, oh, we don't encourage you to skate on private property. That's not good. You don't want that. 
Anyway, these are a good looking shoe. I like them, very basic, but very, very solid. Do I mean, there's a million shoes at Nordstrom that look just like that, but I'm not really complaining. I'd skate them maybe. I'm gonna, I like, uh, I like Nikes more than New Balances, honestly. Okay, let's, let's wrap this up. Let's go to Vans. I have a couple Vans shoes that I would uh, like to go over. I think we're all really familiar with just the sort of classic Vans, like the slip-ons, the old schools, the new eras, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think there's really any need to go over those. Those are like incredibly classic. Uh, I just recently had the half cabs, so I might do a review on them the pro ones and they're really excellent shoes and they're they're pretty cheap uh 70 at this point is uh as a as a cheap skate shoe not cheap but like within that price bracket it's sort of like at the bottom of what you could pay for a good skate shoe retail anyway these are really good i mean i think they're very good looking shoes too i think it's hard to argue against them they're really versatile anybody can wear half cabs so the trouble with Vans is they just make a million shoes. So it's like really hard to, when I look at Vans shoes, do I also, do I also incorporate the SpongeBob collab into my score of Vans, even though these will be made for six months and then we'll never see them again? Uh, I don't think that it's even worth looking at these or spending time on them because Obviously, I'm not the person that they make those for. I'm just gonna rifle off some of my experiences with Vans and give you some ones I, I really liked. Mostly my, my opinion about Vans is very positive. I had these, the Paradoxes. Uh, these were really, really good shoes. Uh, I, I'd highly recommend them. Uh, these last a really long time. They're great. I think these are great looking shoes. They're kind of hard to find right now. I haven't been able to get my hands on them. When I'm talking about sort of reverting back to some of those more vintage looking designs, I think the paradoxes are a great uh, example of that. And uh, I would highly recommend you guys try these out. Amelia, oh, we got the Rowans. I, I think these are solid looking. I actually put these on my feet and I thought I looked like a child because they are walking a really fine line with these of like pay less baby shoe and cool skate shoe. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. <laughs> they do look a little bit insane don't they but then then again when people are skating them i guess you don't really question how they look but they they are really reverting back to some of those more vintage looking designs I, i'm sorry that i don't really have a ton of van shoes to show you i mean i'm sort of burnt out on looking at shoes at this point so i'm gonna put vans in the a tier right there behind last resorts because i think that vans has i mean there's just too many shoes to even possibly like look at so i'm just gonna focus more on the shoes that i do like from vans which there are a decent amount of um, but yeah i'm pretty burnt on this at this point so i'm just gonna toss vans up there and vans has tons of money too uh so i'm gonna sort of treat them score them as i would like a a corporate skate shoe even though they have like much more skateboardy type of roots they still have the resources to do all this extra shit that other companies don't have this is my tier list uh i think it's pretty solid i don't know what do you guys think that's gonna do it for this video i got a bunch of shit to do i gotta go send some t-shirts out uh, if you guys want to buy a t-shirt i'll link that in the description i think we're probably running a little bit low at this point but working on a new design that hopefully you guys will be into and I'll put those out once I sell out of these other t-shirts. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thank you for subscribing. I've been seeing the number go up. Really appreciate it. Um, hit 10K views on my first video, on, on a video for the first time. That's sick as well. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.